Alright guys and girls, this is a long plane review for Oh Mummy on the Amstrad CPC, released by Amsoft in 1984. And this is my little Halloween horror treat for you all. Can you believe though, for such a famous Amstrad game that I have never done a long play and review of it on the channel before? Well here it is, in all its short glory. 12 minute long video, eh? Um, now this is a truly beloved game on the Amstrad CPC. Most of you would have come across this game bundled in the Amsoft 12 pack with most new CPC 464s back when it was released in 1984. Now whilst it's a little short and simple, it's one of Amsoft's more memorable offerings and is still really good fun to play today. So let's start the game up and uh, start the long play. Now this was made by Gem Software for Amsoft, who had already released O oh Mummy for the ZX Spectrum. And before the release of the uh, Amstrad CPC 464 computer, um, Amstrad set up the uh, software division Amsoft, which was uh, there to source games for the launch. And they turned to Gem to convert some of their games over for the release of the 464. And O oh Mummy was one of them. For coders uh, Darren White and John Line at Gem, O oh Mummy was their first CPC conversion. They later then made Roland in Time, Roland in Space and the perplexing Kabbalah for Amsoft. John and Darren later went on to buy the Gem software name when it went bust under a new partnership they formed together. And John would also help make Sultan's Maze and Doors of Doom for Amsoft, and that appears to be the last of his games for the Amstrad 2. Darren, however, had quite the career on the Amstrad, with his last games being the uh, mighty Turrican and Outrun Europa, the only decent Outrun game on the Amstrad. With games in between such as Back to the Future Part 2, Circus Games, Demon's Revenge, Pogo Stick Olympics, Spherical and Stunt Bike Simulator. Oh, here we go, we've got the scenario here. You've been appointed head of an archaeological expedition sponsored by the British Museum and have been sent to Egypt to explore newly found pyramids. Your party initially consists of five members. Your task is to enter the five levels of each pyramid and recover from them the five royal mummies and as much treasure as you can. So basically five levels per pyramid, five, uh, tr uh, uh, five treasures of royal mummies to collect per level. There you go. Uh, but well, over the five levels, sorry. So each level has already been partly uncovered by the local workers and it is up to you, uh, your team, sorry, to finish the dig. Unfortunately, the workers digging uh, has aroused the guardians left behind by the ancient Egyptian pharaohs to protect their royal tombs. Each level has two guardian mummies, one lies hidden while the other goes in search of the intruders. Uh, the partly excavated levels are in the form of a grid made up of 20 boxes. To uncover a box, move your team along the four sides of the box from each corner to the next. Not all boxes need to be uncovered to enable you to go through the exit and into the next level. And uh, each level consists, uh, sorry, contains 10 treasure boxes, 6 empty boxes and the rest hold a royal mummy, a guardian mummy, a key and a scroll. Um, if you uncover the box holding the Guardian Mummy, it will dig its way out and pursue you. Being caught by a Guardian Mummy kills one member of your team and the Mummy, unless that is, you have uncovered the scroll. So the scroll protects you from one hit. Uh, the Magic Scroll will allow you to be caught by a Guardian without any harm to your team. The scroll works only on the level on which it is found. It will only destroy one Guardian. There are two ways to gain points. One is, to, one is by uncovering the Royal Mummy, the other by uncovering treasure. So there you go. When the box is holding the key and the Royal Mummy have been uncovered, uh, you will be able to leave the level and the remaining Guardians will be able to follow you onto the next level. After completing all five levels of a pyramid, you will, when you leave the fifth level, move to level one of the next pyramid. So basically there's five levels that loop over and over essentially. You'll see. Uh, when you have completed a pyramid, your success will be rewarded either by bonus points or the arrival of an extra member for your team. The guardians in the next pyramid, having been warned by those you have escaped from, will, will be more alert. So although the guardians cannot follow you from one pyramid to the next, there you go, anyway. Sorry, went too quick there. You control your team by using joystick and keyboard. The game has five skill levels. These determine how clever the guardians are at, at the beginning of a game. And you may choose between five different speed levels from moderate to murderous. 
May Ank Sun Amun guide your steps. So what we're going to do in this long play, guys, is we're going to set the maximum speed and maximum difficulty and just get through one pyramid because the game just loops uh, at that level um, from the next pyramid onwards without much sort of change. So there you go. We'll just set it up there. I hope you like the background music because you're going to hear it throughout. Right. And O oh Mummy is often described as being inspired by Amidar, a, coin, a Konami coin op released in 1981. Although coder Darren White says he was inspired by Painter for the ZX Spectrum from ANF in 1983, which itself was inspired by an arcade game called Make Tracks by Williams at Electronics in 1981. So there we go, we recorded pretty much everything there. I took one hit there and destroyed one mummy because I had the scroll. So if you get the scroll, it is absolutely worth your time um, taking out one of the mummies before leaving. Because otherwise, the, the, the mummies you've spawned, so we've got three here, that would mean three mummies are carry over to the next level if, you go, if I go straight to the exit after getting the key. So uh, we need to find the scroll here by making a box all the way around. We found the key there, and they'll open the exit up. But the royal mummy, and I think the scroll is this one here. There we go. So we're going to take out one mummy and then get to the exit. There you go. So now on level three. Wow. Um, so yeah, the strategy is to basically find the scroll and take out one mummy before moving on to the next level. Hopefully, hopefully before you accidentally unleash another mummy from its tomb if you get lucky. Um, if you could kill the first mummy and exit before the second one spawns, that would be ideal. And then keeping that going throughout the rest of the, uh, the uh, levels. But it's pretty much near impossible to do that. Um, but yes, basically to get out of the level, you need to find the big treasure and the key for the exit. Um, and if you look at the main character sprite here, um, what do you reckon, boys and girls? Do you reckon this character was meant to be Roland? Was it designed that way, then dropped? It does look a bit like the um, the Roland in... Um, hmm, a little bit like the Roland in Roland in Time and in Space, maybe. A little bit. Different colours, though. Um, was it designed that way, and then the idea was dropped? Could this have been called instead uh, Roland in the Tombs, perhaps? Who knows? Who knows? They kept the own mummy name, though, and I think they probably like the own mummy name. It's a good name for a game. <laughs> like this. Um... Here we are, I think, we're on the, I think this is the final level actually, already, so it's a short long play today. And we only have four mummies uh, after us here. Um, I don't really have any kind of strategy to give you apart from going for the scroll, making sure you take out a mummy before you leave type thing. Um, try to confuse the mummies, maybe sort of a zigzagging technique kind of works best. Um, other, other than that, you just got to be as quick as you can and use your reflexes. And there we go, we've done it. Stop rest. British Museum today announced successful excavation of ancient Egyptian pyramid. Leader of team given bonus for his efforts of 200 points. Wow, a whopping 200 points. So from, uh, for the rest of the video, guys, uh, we will just have a little bit of a goof around on the next pyramid. And you will see that basically it plays exactly the same as the last one, because we're on maximum difficulty and speed. So, um, yeah, there's nothing much more to see, but a little bit more to talk about. So, this was released on several other different computers. I didn't realize, actually, there were so many versions of O oh Mummy. So the original was on the ZX Spectrum, uh, but the Amstrad version has vastly improved graphics, sound, music, AI, just plays a whole lot smoother. Um, it's also appeared on the Tatum Einstein, which is very similar to the Amstrad version, but not as smooth moving with the sprites. The only footage on YouTube doesn't have any sound or music, so I don't know if that was actually present or not. That's a problem with his uh, video. Um, there was a version for the Computers Lynx, which is pretty similar to the Specky original, but with slightly more colourful uh, colour. Sorry, and definitely more annoying sound effects. Yikes! And there was also an MSX version, which is actually pretty close to the Amstrad one, but with more slightly more muted colours. Uh, but it's actually more it's actually more close to the Tatung Einstein one. And there was a version uh, released for the Intellivision uh, Homebrew Report in 2016. Uh, graphically not as good as the Amstrad, but it has better music in it. Um, there was even a port for the iOS in uh, 2009. Apparently there was a mobile version, but I've never seen or played it sadly, so I can't tell you much about it. And last but not certainly not least was an excellent Sega Mega Drive Homebrew version in 2012. Um, 
Yes, uh, the Sega Genesis Mega Drive version was released called Oh Mummy Genesis, and it is excellent. Uh, which is kind of an unofficial sequel that pays homage to the original, but adds new things like a story mode, and it's well worth checking out. So quickly, uh, magazine reviews. So this uh, Oh Mummy on the Amstrad was, was reviewed in the very first issue of Amstrad Action Magazine in October 1985. They liked the fast reaction gameplay on higher levels of the game, but marked it down for not much complexity and no changes in the pyramid layouts and tasks, which is absolutely fair. Although the scoring might be a little harsh here though. For example, they rated the graphics at 61%, Sonic 66%, Grab Factor 60%, Stain Power 42% with an overall AA rating of 48%. Ouch. So I'll just put this on the lowest speed here just so you can see what it's like. Um, my review. Well, it's a very simple game that you can pick up and play without thinking too much. Having a range of difficulty and speeds is good for gamers of all skill ranges and ages. Um, yes, there's not much to it and it basically loops after five levels, but it's still fun to come back to for a quick go. So um, I'm going to score it 7.5 out of 10 for the game, but 10 out of 10 for nostalgia feels. Thank you very, very much for watching, guys. Happy Halloween. And uh, let me know what you think of this in the comments below. All right, take care. Goodbye. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please click a like below, leave a comment, and also subscribe if you haven't already. And over that way, there's another video for you to check out. Zypho, out.